Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's Chad from the Red Line, and today we're going over the high lift jack. This last Friday night, I had used this high lift jack to take a little pressure off the driver's side front tire so I could put some air in it and repair the torn sidewall. And just like all high lifts, at some point, they're going to get gummy, they're going to get sticky, and they're going to not work properly. Now those are the two culprits right there, in my case, the two climbing pins. And contrary to popular belief, the climbing pins don't support the weight of the load that you're lifting. The large and small runners actually support the weight of the load that you're lifting. Years ago, I bought a high lift jack repair kit. Now this replaces the climbing pins in the jack. You have to disassemble the jack to put these in. The other thing it's always nice to have is a can of lubricant. <laughs> in your toolkit just in case the climbing pins get stuck. If you don't have lubricant, then what you can use is water. Let's get started. This keeps that handle nice and quiet. Here we go, we've all got it broken down here. We've got small runner, large runner. We've got the reversing switch cam bar and spring right there. We've got the standard or bar. We've got the steel handle, handle socket, and pitman. These are our climbing pins. There's two of those, plus the, the pins and the springs, and then the reversing lever right there. Now, if you ask me, this has got pretty much basic dirt, grime, and filth inside of there. And to be honest, a lot of that is neglect. The other reason is that this jack is actually kept on the front bumper where it's exposed to the elements, so it's going to get dirty. If nothing else, maybe it just needs a little elbow grease. I'll put the new climbing pins in, clean it up, and we should be good to go. We got this thing all cleaned up. It really didn't take that long necessarily to tear this down, clean it all up, make sure everything is nice and shiny. Actually, the climbing pins looked really, really good, so I just cleaned them up. I'm gonna plan on putting them back in, save my spares for another time.
All right, there you have it. That's teardown and reassembly of your high lift jack. Again, the common failure point of these things is that the climbing pins get dry and they don't work as they should. And contrary to popular belief, there is nothing to be afraid of with your high lift jack as long as you put in good working order and you know how to use it. The next thing I'm gonna try for this high lift jack to keep it in good working order is the high lift neoprene cover that goes over the runners. That'll keep the runner out of moisture and debris and keep it clean for use. And don't forget to keep some spray lube in your toolkit so that you can keep those climbing pins in good working order. Thank you so much for watching. If you're returning to the right line, welcome back. If you're finding me for the first time, please consider a like, comment, or a share. Have a great week, and I'll see you again next time.